Hi everyone, thank you for visiting with Chetco Digital Instruments. This video is an overview of our VDash software application, the CPC computer, and a little bit on our sensor interface units. And these are three of the many products that Chetco Digital offers. At the end of the video, I'll run through some other things that Chetco Digital provides, but for right now, let's jump into some of this technology. So, I currently have our VDash software application running, and I have this running off of one of our CPC computers, which is connected via USB to our sensor interface unit. Now our remote sensor interface units are just our analog to digital converter box, which inputs engine sensor data. And I already have this unit connected in order to create custom gauge screens and layouts uh, using live data for demonstration purposes. So this is meant to be an overview for potential customers and first-time users. Installation and more specific details can be found on our support page in addition to our question and answer forum which is a great tool. Okay, really quick, let me pull up our shopping cart page located at digitalmarinegages.com and I just want you to get an idea of what I'm actually running this demonstration off of. And I'm running it off of uh, a product we provide called the CPC and the CPC is a fanless, passively cooled, solid state computer that we offer primarily for two reasons. Uh, first, to handle any rugged environment such as high performance automotive vehicles or saltwater and other harsh marine environments. And the CPC has no moving parts and comes in this rugged casing, as you can see here. The second reason is that CPC is optimized out of the box specifically for digital instrumentation, switching, and networking over NEMA 0183 or if necessary NEMA 2000 networks. So it comes with our VDash software application pre-installed. It comes with an internal NEMA 2000 adapter as you can see, an internal serial and USB adapter, and a 12 volt output. And the 12 volt output is nice because you can power your display using the PC and eliminate the need for an additional power cable. And of course this is a fully functional Windows 7 system, so you can also use the CPC to run all of your music, movies, web browsing, third-party chart plotting software, or GPS software, or literally anything that can be installed on a Windows PC, you can run using the CPC. Also, this demo today is a screen capture using a normal computer display, but these PCs and also our remote sensor interface units are set up to run directly with one of Chetco Digital's all-weather touchscreen sunlight viewable displays that can be mounted from your vessel's helm station or your automotive's dash. And I should also point out that if you have an existing display from say Garmin, Lawrence, or Raymarine, you can still use our CPC and and or our sensor interface unit to view your engine data or add more data to your existing NEMA network uh, from your current display. Also, the CPC is not necessary to uh, to run the sensor interface unit or a Checo digital display. It is simply another option for customers who would like a long-lasting, rugged, durable computer that has some very nice features and ties into networking and digital instrumentation. Okay, right now I have the CPC connected to our standard remote sensor interface unit and with the sensor interface unit we offer a standard and pro version. The pro version here is a sealed waterproof uh, version with cable harnesses and the standard version is a splash resistant. So each unit will allow 16 different inputs including 3 pulse, 12 analog, and 1 NEMA 0183 or serial input in addition to 12 indicators and multiple units can be connected to run simultaneously if you ever need more engine data or have multiple engines. Optional NEMA 2000 is available if needed and all inputs can be min-max alarmed with visual and audible alerts. We also offer remote switch units and these switch units are offered as an internal module within the sensor interface unit as you see here or as an entirely separate unit for customers whose onboard powers distribution center is located away from the engine compartment. Okay, let's let's move on and take a brief look at the VDash software application that I already have running here. And VDash comes included with any hardware purchase over $500 and also has no licensing fees, which our customers find very nice. 
Uh, VDash offers a wide array of configuration options to handle many, many advanced instrumentation, switching, networking, engine monitoring, and data logging features. Uh, much too many options to go through in this quick video, so I'm going to quickly go through some of the basic features of VDash so you have a good starting point. Okay, now I have my preferences tab open right now. I'm going to cancel out of this. I'm also currently connected to a sensor interface unit, so I'm going to disconnect and close out of VDash altogether and start over here. So I, I opened a fresh version of VDash. As you can see, I'm disconnected, um, so I'm not receiving any data from anywhere right now. Um, up here in the top right-hand corner are eight menu boxes. Uh, the top top left box out of in this menu is the data log button. Now I don't have any data coming in, so if I hit the data log button when I'm not connected to anything, you'll see that it's reading a log file. So this is just spitting out random uh, predefined data. It, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just an example. Um, if you'd like to go through and kind of create custom pages in VDash before you connect to your remote sensor interface unit or connect to an engine, some of these pages are empty. Um, but it's just reading a log file right now. So what I want to first do is connect to the sensor interface unit that I currently have my CPC plugged into. So I can toggle this to stop reading the log file. The bottom right hand button here in the menu is the preferences tab. We're going to be in here a lot. And I have eight different tabs up top and each one represents a different preferences menu. Uh, the connect tab is one I'm going to start with. The most common way to connect to a remote sensor interface unit is is going to be through the USB port. There are other, there are other more advanced COM ports, TCP, IP ports, um, different ways of doing this, but right now I'm just going to connect through the USB port because that's what I have plugged into the CPC. If I click on Discover USB Devices, it'll show that I have one sensor interface unit plugged in to my CPC. I'm going to highlight that and hit the Save button. File Save, it's going to move my window a little bit, but I can bring it back. <clears throat> now the top right hand button of the menu is the connect tab. If if I properly have my sensor interface unit plugged into the CPC um, or other computer <clears throat> and I hit connect it's going to recognize the data. Now this is actually live data from the sensor interface unit however I'm connected to any engine. So this is just one theme and one of an unlimited amount of ways to set up a VDash screen. VDash is capable of displaying incoming data in a set of user customized virtual screens using a variety of graphic display formats. Uh, the type of graphic formats available depends on the model being configured um, and up to eight pages can be configured by using simple drop down menu selections and by right clicking a mouse. So I already have some some gauge pages set up here and Let's take a look at this page for a second. Now we're going to recreate this. Um, this is a demo page that would be, uh, we have oil PSI, air temp, EGT1, EGT2, voltmeter, transmission PSI, and then obviously speed, tachometer, and engine temp. So this is, this is a screen that may be for more of an automobile type application. 